So let's get into it. Um, so let's get into it, guys. Um, five fifty one in the morning, eleven over thirty five. We gonna go. So we have still the same kind of like the same type type of problem, which is factoring. Factoring. So we have the two terms. The first one is uh thirteen Q five minus, and the second one is thirteen Q four. So we're gonna factor the term. You have to do so. We gonna find the common numbers or like the thing that they have been factor. Okay, let's break it down. Like factoring is pretty much like what they have in common. What is the smallest term? So that's okay. So that's like the two things that I want y'all to think about when we are going to like the whole factoring thing. So factoring is not really complicated. I mean, they can really make the some problem be really complicated by adding like numbers and letters, numbers and letters. That will actually make you. Y'all know it, but factoring is not really complicated. So I want y'all to think about two things where it's time for us to really dive into factoring. So the first thing that you need to keep in mind is what is the term or what is whatever you're dealing with, the term that you have have in common. So is it a number? Is it a number? Has you seen? Okay, so has you seen the problem? So. Are you actually like thinking about a number that they might have in common? If they might have the number in common, so write it down because most likely, I'm not saying always, but most likely the thing that they have in common is the thing that you're going to use. So for example, in this exercise, so what are the things that they have in common? So they have the number in common and they also have the letter in common. So we're going to say numbers and letters, but we're going to start by the numbers, which is the 13. So we're going to write the 13 down. And what else do they have in common? They have the Q in common. But um so it sounds like the Q, so the Q have exponents. So which Q are you gonna take? You're gonna take the smallest Q. Like I said, the smallest term. So we're gonna take smallest term because it's gonna be way much more easier for you when it will, it will be time for you to factor because you will have the five over the four and the five and the four over the four, which is gonna be one, which is gonna be one and one in each case so yeah that's how it's gonna take the smallest term so look through your problem and get the things they have in common write them down take the small the large not see the large one take the largest one and then the smallest one and then you will solve a problem but if you order to verify don't forget to plug everything out back again so that you can get the problem or the um, exercise that you study with so for example, we said that 13 is going to be your answer because 13 is the thing that they're sharing together, the thing that they have in common, and also Q. But which Q are we going to take? The smallest Q, which is the Q4. So it's going to be much more easier for us to factor. So we will have a 13 Q4 and 13 Q5. So how can you make the 13 Q4 turn to a 13 Q5? By adding one Q because they already have all the base and everything. So by adding one Q, so you have four Q right now. And how can you make the thirteen Q four, um, becomes to, like the thirteen Q four, by just multiply it by one. So you won't change anything. So you're not gonna try to find the number. Not gonna try to go any crazy. It's not gonna be zero because if you do multiply it by zero, it's gonna, it's gonna be zero and the problem doesn't have zero. So it's gonna be a one. One is the only thing that will. You know, let it the way it is so that nothing can change. May stop or get complicated. So, right now, that's our solution. The solution to the problem. How to check it? And distribute dis our terms. So, 13q4 by 13 q by the q by itself is going to be 13q5. Why is it going to be 13q5? Because you have a q4 by a q the q and the q same pair so it's gonna be q and you just add the exponent so we have an invisible exponent one so four 
plus 1 is equal to Q5. So that's why you have the Q5. And we started with the Q5 as well. So you're going to keep our sign 13Q4 by um, the negative 1 is going to be the negative 13Q4. Is that the problem that we started with? That's exactly the problem that we started with. So 13Q4 minus 13Q5. So that's the solution to our problem, 13Q4 fact Q negative 1. So that's the solution to the problem. So I hope that it was easier for y'all. And let's get into the other one because, yeah, that boy is retired. 11 over 35, if we can do it. Let's go.